and girls, this is Mrs. Ott and I'm so happy that you're here today to make some art with me. So our project today is a cardboard face and it is inspired by artists like Picasso who are abstract artists and cubist artists and we are inspired today by two contemporary artists which means that they're still living and practicing and painting and making art today. So one is an American artist, his name is Kimi Cantrell, and I'm going to show you some uh, of his work, actually just one, and I want you to look up at the rest if you'd like. So this, these, what he does are masks, ceramic masks, and if you could look at this image, you could see that um, they are asymmetrical, which means that you can have one eye different than the other one, you have also different shapes of nose and also lips. So all of the components are basically overlapped. So there are different pieces that are, in this case this is clay, that are joined together. But the ones we're going to be doing will be with cardboard. Another one that I wanted to show you is actually a cardboard example that you could do um, using his, his work as inspiration. So different colors, different overlapping, different types of cardboard. So you could use corrugated cardboard, thin cardboard, thicker cardboard. So basically you want to use whatever you have at home. Here's another one that shows um, just different uh, outcomes of the projects that we're doing today, which is really interesting. So it's always good, or I like as a visual artist, to you know, see what's been done and look at things that I like or don't like and kind of uh, take all the ideas that I want for my projects. Now the other artist that I want to share which is does also really really beautiful work her name is Sandra Zilberswag and it's a little bit hard to pronounce. She is from Toronto, Canada and I just absolutely love the way she makes her faces, it's really poetic. Um, and so this is also another source of inspiration for today's work. And look at the colors, the way she's blending. So in, we are going to be using oil pastels. And that's why I like to look at her work. I also do some, some uh, paintings using her work as an inspiration and I do it with chalk. But today we're going to use oil pastels that really blend really well together. Um, materials, I want to just talk about briefly. You're going to have a piece of paper, which is just a 9 by 12 white piece of drawing paper. And I used a box of Cheerios that I cut up, so I have two sides. And then I'm going to be doing, using the backs for uh, my face. And this is convenient because the cardboard is not too thick when I want to cut shapes. You can also use corrugated cardboard if you have some at home. And if you don't, it's really easy to just take a, a thicker piece of cardboard and it'll just peel it off and then you'll have the corrugated part inside. And uh, what we're going to do is just layer all the pieces when we cut them up. So the first step will be to sketch. And I'm going to show you just a couple sketches that I made before I decided to go ahead with the project and we'll see, we'll see them. You will see as I go and as I make them. But again, you're going to think about what type of shapes of eyes, shapes of nose that you want to add, shapes of lips, if you wanted to add ears or not, if you want to add eyelashes or other details. So again, this is the part where when you make your sketch, you're, you're telling us about yourself a lot. So this is very, it's a very personal piece of art, and I want to, you to incorporate things that are important for you, maybe stars or flowers or hearts. So let's get started. So the first step to uh, making our mask is to create a sketch. And actually, I think it's always best to create a few sketches to kind of see which idea would, would work best and which idea you like the best. So make sure you use up the whole space. We want your faces to be large, 
So you're going to start with the shape that the bottom of the, the mask will be. So remember, um, you can use large, large shapes like that. And this is an abstract drawing. So it's definitely asymmetrical, which means that some parts will be different on one side of face than on the other side of the face. So maybe in here, I'm going to have one of my eyes. So again, try to make them large, large. So I'm just going to save this space here for now. And then maybe my other eye would be in a separate piece of cardboard here. So these spaces are pieces of, that they will be actually pieces of cardboard, separate pieces of cardboard. So I'm going to draw them like this. And see this one is a little bit more down. This one is a little bit more up. So I'm going to continue making my shapes. And then I'm going to decide what kind of nose do I want. Do I want maybe a nose that's like this. And then my lips. Again, I'm going to have these, these lips. Big lips. So maybe this is the top part, this is the bottom part, and that will be, you know, on its separate piece of cardboard. done a few sketches I am going to decide which one I like best and which one I want to do on the cardboard so I actually like all of them but I think I'm going to choose this one as the one I will do on cardboard and I might actually integrate some other elements from each one so for instance this one I might add a heart or one of these circles this one, I might take a little bit of a star and put it right here, but this will be my starting point. So I'm going to add, take this one. And my cardboard, the cardboard that I'm going to be using as a base is actually a box of Cheerios because it's kind of easier to cut. So if I put it on, it's about the same size. And then I'm gonna use another one for some of the elements inside. So I'm going to start here with my box of Cheerios and I'm going to start with the bottom part, the big, the large shape. So I'm going to use as much as I can. And again, if you feel you know, better starting with pencil and then going to Sharpie, that's fine. So it's something like this. There we go there we go and then I am going to cut this part out so once I have my base cut out I'm going to get another piece of my cardboard box again it's still my box of Cheerios and I'm going to put it on top like this and just trace around with a pencil so you can go strong so you can see it and this will help us um, with proportions when we add our other elements so here's my box and then I had said that I wanted a big eye here so I am going to just cut actually first I'm going to draw this big eye and then maybe this one here which is going to be like that and then I had a really cool shape for a nose and then I'm going to draw lips so this is the outside part of the lips actually this and then I also have a circle but I'm going to do the circle maybe on a different type of material and these ones too, and these ones too as well. So I actually can draw 
my eye here inside. And this one here. I might want to make it a little bit bigger. But yeah, I just changed it a little bit. That's okay. And then my lips will be in here. So my next step is to cut out these shapes. So for instance, I'm not going to cut out this one. I'm going to cut out the outside one. And just in case, I'm going to erase these marks so that I don't make a mistake while I'm cutting. So I'm going to cut these ones out. So this is what I have so far and I'm going to add more elements which is the circle, these eyelashes, maybe a, a few smaller circles and maybe even more things. So here's my base. If I put it here this is kind of what it will look like so far. So here are all my elements and I wanted to add maybe this circle. So one trick if you do not have corrugated cardboard which gives you a really cool texture sometimes uh, this cardboard you're just going to lift it up like this and you can find some really cool corrugated cardboard and this is what i want to use maybe for this circle and perhaps for these ones or you can use just a heavier cardboard also you can also layer these ones so that they can be a little bit higher up so maybe I want to put actually this one just like that, a little bit higher up. So I'm going to find, I'm going to play a little bit with this to finalize my composition. So once I have my, all my cardboard pieces cut out, I am going to work on coloring my my cardboard face. And of course you can paint it. If you, you, if you decide to paint it, I recommend acrylic paint. But I'm going to show you today how to do it with oil pastels. So I'm going to use uh, a, diff some, a few different oil pastels. These are water soluble oil pastels that I like because they're a little bit more, uh, they give you a little bit more coverage but these ones are really good too so these are just regular oil pastels and um, before we start what I like to do is think about the colors that I'm going to use and uh, my inspiration today is one of these beautiful faces so I can see that in the background she uses lots of it's a blending of colors so I'm going to get all these colors and before I, I go on here, you always kind of want to try it out. Since we're using cardboard, I'm not going to try it on, on white because it will be very different. The colors will react differently. So I'm going to take a piece of cardboard like that and you see I started right here and see if I have some pinks. You know, what would the pink look like? Or uh, maybe this pink, how does that pink look like? This is actually a red. So I'm going to test my colors. Do you see how, how they're very different? And you know, kind of find all the colors that I want. White is extremely important right here because if you want to make your colors brighter, for instance, this pink, I would do white first and then pink, and then I could see it much better. Do you see the difference right here? So white is really important. So I'm going to, you know, work on finding my colors first as much as I can. And I can see that even with the green, my white will be very important first. So I can, so it shows up a little bit better. And then I'm going to start with the bottom part of the mask. So again, not to lose, you know, where I put my elements. I can put them back on here 
while I am painting the bottom part first. So I'm going to put these back here, all of these here, and I'm going to start painting just the bottom part with my oil pastels. Once I have colored everything on my face, I don't know if you noticed at the very end, I tried to outline with a Sharpie and it gave me a hard time because the Sharpie does not like uh, to be used with oil pastels. So if you encounter that, you can also outline trying to make it really thin with a black oil pastel. So now I'm going to glue all my pieces. So I'm going to just set them aside so I remember kind of where they are or where they will be and I'm going to just make little piles here like this and separate them and then I'm going to decide if I want to glue it with white glue so you have the choice of white glue or you could use an, a glue gun if you have a parent at home and uh, you're allowed to use a glue gun or maybe your parent can help you with the gluing process which is best so I'm going to take this one and I see that, for instance, this one doesn't go all the way in. So I only have to put glue up to here, perhaps. So I'm going to turn it around like this and kind of remember, okay, I just need glue up to here. I am going to use my glue gun and just apply some glue. Now glue, when you use a glue gun, it dries kind of really fast. So once I'm done, I'm going to put it here, just like that. So try to remember kind of where you wanted it. And I actually have my two small marks right there, which really helps me. Then I'm going to press down and just hold until it glues well. And then I'm going to continue with all my other elements to glue it together. <laughs> 